Welcome back, everybody, to Imperial Galactic Sur Galactic Survival Alpha 10.2. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, in this episode, we are going to um, get ready to uh, build our uh, capital vessel, or, or rather, we're, no, we're not, we're, we're not going to build a capital vessel. We're going to spawn in a stock capital vessel, and we're going to do some upgrades to it. Uh, in addition to that, we're still working on the Polaris quest line. We finished the main story quest, and now we have um, some uh, just some a radiant quest here that we're going to work on so we can get our reputation up. Mission needs a reputation of honored. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, we, so we'll be, we'll be, we'll, 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 I can't talk. We will be working on that <laughs> in the next couple of episodes. Um, so that's where we're at. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to start this episode off by uh, showing you our new epic drill that we got by doing the Polaris quest line. And we're going to use this drill on this Zaskosium asteroid. I also, when I came back into the system, I noticed uh, or found Thermica Station, which is, of course, a Xerax enemy station. So that's something that uh, we might go after at some point here in the future. Most likely we will. Uh, but let's go ahead and try out our new drill here. So let's uh, see. We got our jetpack on. We got our helmet on. So let's pop on out of here. Uh, there is a drone over by that station, but he appears to be staying there. I'm just kind of keeping my eye on the mini map in the in the upper uh, right corner there. Okay, so let's grab our awesome looking epic drill, load it up, and let's see what this baby can do. We'll get ourselves some zascosium. Okay. Hmm. That doesn't seem to be like real fast. I mean, it's not that much faster than the normal drill. Does it like get us more per hit? Okay, let's let's do something here. Let's grab our normal drill. So the normal drill has a range of 7 meters, a capacity a charge of 750, reload time of 2.9. This has a range of 9 meters, same magazine capacity. It has a little bit more durability. I mean, just a little bit more, not that much, really. And it doesn't really say anything about speed. So, you know, a minuscule amount of durability and two meters more range. Is that the only difference between these two drills? Let's try something. So this is the normal drill. One banana, two banana, three banana, four banana, five banana. So, I mean... You know, five banana, right? I mean, this isn't a scientific, but I'm just trying to get a feel for it. Okay, now let's try this one. One banana, two banana, three banana, four banana, five banana. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this drills any faster than the other one, guys. So yeah, you guys know the drill. I'm just gonna get it drill. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna mine this thing out. Uh, when I'm finished mining it, I'll bring you back and I'll show you, um, you know, how much we got out of it and then we'll go from there. Okay, so be back in a bit. All right, let's light this son of a bitch up. That's it. No, he wasn't very tough. Yeah, if he would have caught me when I was, like, outside of the ship by the asteroid, that would have been a bad situation. All right, what you got, man? Plasma space drone. Yeah, just parts. Nothing special. Okay, I think we have finally mined this thing out. Looks like we have. Let's see how much uh, product that we got out of there. One full stack and 379 more. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, that'll last us for a while. 
it was great uh, being able to find this thing. Uh, I don't know if it'll respawn or not. Um, it might. We'll have to come back and check it at, at some later later point in time. I think it'll probably not respawn unless they do like a major update to the game or something. And if I'm still playing on the same game, uh, then we can come back and look at it. Not really sure about that though. Maybe it does respawn after a certain point in time. If you guys know, let me let me know in the comments. That'd be great. Okay, time to go back home. Um, I have nothing else that I need to do here for now, so I want to get back to Hyponos and get started with our getting our space station stocked up so we can get ready to do our upgrade of the stock CV. So let's get in position here. Oh, yep, that's got to come off, doesn't it? There we go. Okay, guys, so um, I'll go ahead and cut the camera here. I'm going to go down to the planet. I'm going to get a bunch of supplies, bring them back up to the space station, get it stocked up so that we can, so it's ready for us to start working on uh, that capital vessel upgrade. All right, so I'll be back in a little bit with an update. Bye. All right, guys, we are back, and I have spent uh, quite a bit of time off camera. Uh, gathering resources. Now, my original plan was going to be to go to the um, back down to Hyponos and just get our supplies there. But I decided instead of doing that, uh, let's leave most of the supplies in the base down below. And I just went out and did a whole bunch of mining. So I probably spent, I don't know, two or three hours off camera mining. And so um, we've got uh, quite a bit of ore that we have uh, processed. So pretty much almost everything except for the arrest room that you see in here, I mined. And uh, the Zascosium, of course, came from the asteroid that we did earlier. And then uh, I went out and mined up some more Sathium, I mined up some more Neo, uh, some more silica, copper, and iron, and, and so on and so forth. So we got a pretty good supply of uh, ores now here at Space Base. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is a little hoarse here. Uh, it's actually like a two days later for me uh, in continuing this recording. So I did all that on Sunday night. It's Tuesday night right now. Any Uh Okay, so we have made... Uh, there's a few things I need to do to upgrade the spa space base before we're ready to start working on the capital ship, which, by the way, is about five minutes away. So five, five more minutes and four seconds and that baby will be ready to go. But we need to be ready for it. <clears throat> so uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add um, some new devices to the space station. Because remember, this was built... Uh, a few alphas ago and so it needs to be updated for alpha 10 so let's start by putting a wireless device in which I actually did put in an alpha 9 but apparently I forgot to save that version uh, of the of the uh, of the base so let's just put that right there and uh, that puts the wireless device uh, we've got a pentaxa tank that we got to figure out where we're gonna put uh, what we might end up doing is that, because why not, right? I mean, it works. And then the th the thing, though, that we're going to have to do is this guy here is large. I mean, he takes up a lot of space. So I, I could put him right by the door, but then, you know, then it blocks the, the deconstructor and all that. So what I think we're going to do is let's pull that out of there. Let's grab this retrieve block let's uh, retrieve this now I'm gonna have to redo the crates too so I gotta figure out how I want to do this so let's pull that out of there this guy is currently or he was making uh, fusion cells but apparently it used up all the rest of the promethium which is fine which is fine okay so this is currently supposed to be feeding the uh, furnace there and what's this this is just general storage that's input and output okay so let's do this let's pull all this stuff out of here and we're gonna just put it in the general storage crate for the moment okay so let's um, pull these down here and then we're gonna put the shield Jenny there and I think what I want to do next is I want to put 
We might as well just put this right here. There's no reason not to, really. Um, except for that it's big as hell, but it is what it is. Because we don't we don't need to get back into here for any reason now. Okay, so on top of this guy, we're gonna put uh, a couple of crates. Let's use I like this model here, so let's use this model. Uh, we'll put a crate there, and then we're gonna let's make another crate. Uh, we're gonna have to change this to general storage for a minute. And let's make a, another crate right there. And that... Actually, where the hell did that go? Um, I pulled the output box up, so where exactly did that go? <laughs> um, that's confusing. According to this, it exists in an output box, but where is the output box? Oh, wow, that's weird. I mean, because I, I pulled that up, so it doesn't even exist anymore. Wow, okay. Um, here, let's just do this then. Let's make this um, the one and the same. I don't, I have no idea where that crate went. That's bizarre. Okay, let's just make another one. Fortunately, it's cheap, so I don't really give a shit, but I'd still kind of like to know where the hell it went, though. Okay, so we'll put this guy up here. Like so. And then these guys, I'm going to make actually one more too. Blueprint production is finished. Awesome. Okay. That's awesome. Let's go here and here and make another cargo box. put this one up on top. Now I want to change these guys over to that style of box two. So what we might end up doing is making this input, this output, and that general. Um, but in order to do that I'm going to have to pull all of this crap out of here and transfer it over to there. Can I do that with the wireless menu? So let's go base, or space station rather. Um, oh, you know what we need to do though? We need to, um, here, let's do this. Let's group everything, because you have to group it before you can name it. Cargo box. Um, I don't know which one's which, so here, let's put that in there. And we're going to call this one. Okay, that is one. Okay, good. So we're going to call this one uh, general. General storage. We'll put a two by it for the moment just because um, this one is still called general storage too. Uh, it's still called general storage also is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, what we'll probably do here is let's make, let's call this one, uh, two, and this one we'll call three. Okay, so which one's this? This is three. Uh, so we want to, we'll make three the, um, or processing and again we'll call it no yeah that, that works or processing no we do need to call it two because the other one is two and this one we will call uh, recycling Okay, so that's ore processing, and that's recycling. And this one's currently called ore processing, so let's pull everything out of here and put that into there. And then we can take this one down. And now we can rename this just ore processing. It doesn't have to stay 
uh, or processing too. Okay, cool. Uh, now we just want to remove or move everything from general storage into general storage too. Or no, you know what we could do? Let's let's not work any harder than we have to here. Where the hell? Why are those SVHV? What? Huh? I'm confused. Where did those even come from? Uh, Houston? What the hell? I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, let's put those in there. So, um, let's make another. I just want to make sure this is a base, um, a base storage thing, and not a freaking. Oh, it's when I picked th those up, they converted to SVs. That's weird. I don't know why they would do that. Okay, whatever. Whatever, man. All right, let's put this guy in here. And this one's going to be the input. So where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Cargo box. All right. Now we should be able to re remove everything from general storage into input. Look at that. It's like magic. It's like friggin' magic, man. Okay, but I want this to actually go into normal general storage. Uh, well, actually, I want a few things. I want all of this to go into normal general storage. I want to keep some spare pentaxid available for that. And I... Uh, oh, and some spare promo, too. Alright. Um, so all this can go in here. That can come back out. These... I don't know what the hell happened with that, but whatever. Okay, good. Now, this should be empty. Uh, what? Yeah, okay. So let's pick this up. See, yeah, that changes to an, an SVHV cargo box. That's weird, man. All right, let's set this to input. And we'll just use that the input for the output for the moment. So we can make another base cargo storage. And we'll put that down there. Okay, cool. Let's group everything together. And then this one we will name output. Okay, cool. So this one now gets assigned to output. These probably need to be reassigned, I'm sure. So input and output. Input and output. Uh, this needs to be assigned to or processing and this needs to be assigned to recycle recycling okay cool so all of our crates are set up i'm going to keep this as a tier one for now because i don't even know if we'll get attacked out here i never once got attacked um in my space base an alpha eight or nine it just didn't happen that doesn't mean it won't happen now but it, um but that's all the stuff that we need to upgrade this to a tier two you can't even make a tier two you can only make a t1 and then you have to upgrade it so if we decide at some point later on to do that um you know that's the stuff we need i'm looking in the lower right hand corner where all that red text is in case you guys uh didn't pick up on that okay very cool so i think that's pretty much all we want to do for upgrades uh to the base can we recycle these well let's not recycle we might we might have use for them later, so let's just put those in general storage. Which, by the way, we can now name general storage too. Or, I mean, just normal general storage. So we got rid of the other one. Sweet. Okay, so we got the wireless device in. We got the shield Ginny in. Uh, we got the Pentaxid tank in, which we need to, to fill up. So let's grab the Pentaxid out of here. Um, again, because I don't even know if, if we're going to need this, let's only do... Let's even just do one stack. And we'll, you know, we'll just see. 
Well, I guess we're going to have to... We have 6% battery charge. Oh, that's another thing we've got to do. We've got to... Um, i got to fix the... Let's just go ahead and get started charging that up. I've got to fix the... Um, the solar panels. Uh, we're going to need more of this, too. There we go. So, yeah, the solar panels... Uh, I forgot about this when I set the space station down. But the solar panels are not at full capacity because, you know, the sun's there, but they're kind of angled away. So I think what we're going to do with these is we're going to just set them flat rather than at an angle. Because uh, really the only other option I would have is to completely destroy the station and respawn in a new one. And then i got to reset everything else up, and I don't want to do that. So it'll be much faster just to... Um, Wait a minute. What the hell? Retrieve blocks. Why isn't that working? Uh. I don't. Uh, I don't understand. Why can't I? <laughs> what? Uh. Can I take one of these blocks down? No, I can't. What? This is set to private. Oh, it's because of the shield. Okay, yeah, yep, 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 yep. That's what it is. It's the shield. Okay. Well, you know what? Then let's let's turn that off for the moment. For the moment. I'm like losing my mind here. I'm going. What the hell? <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to these this new shield stuff, guys. So. Cut me some slack, man. Cut me some slack. Okay, let's pick these guys up. Yeah, you can't uh, you can't do stuff like this when the shield's going. Okay, so we want to make these um, we want to make these flat. If it really matters which one of these we use, that's all really more aesthetic than, uh, than, well, you know what we could do though? We could, let's get it, uh, rotated here. Yeah, look at that. Full sun. That's what I'm talking about. One thing I'm thinking might do, though, is... Um, here, let's try something here. Put those in there and then we'll do another stack up on top of here well you know what though that's going to cause problems with the cannon if the cannon has to shoot out that direction hmm okay maybe we better not do that then We had six before. Now this is only going to give us five. Okay, let's go back to the flat one here. No, that's not the flat one. I mean the one that doesn't have anything underneath it. thinks this guy one of these guys lays like just totally flat uh, I think it's this one here
Does that have to be facing the other direction, though? Well, yeah, we want it to be facing the other direction. There we go. Okay. So we'll put this here and here and... There. Okay, that gives us two. Now, that doesn't look right, though, does it? No, we need to we need to lower him down one more, so it's. So it's um you know the same distance as the upper ones. Okay, let's try this again. We want this guy. We want to flip him this way. This way. And probably this way too. Okay. So let's hold that down one more. Just got to get him to attach there. And he can attach there. Oop, there we go. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get some amazing power out of these. Uh, for this one, I guess what we'll do is we'll just tilt it uh, like this and attach it to the end of here. If I can get it to do that, uh, can I make it go? Hmm. I don't really want to block the window. Okay, let's do this. We're going to fudge a little bit here. Put that like so. Put that like so. Let's just do that, just to make sure that it's actually connected. Uh, damn it, I should redo those two. That looks kind of stupid, doesn't it? Time's up already? My word. It does fly by when you're having fun, doesn't it? Okay, well, let's, yeah, let's finish this up here. I know this is probably not necessary, but I'm just going to do it anyway, because we want it to be somewhat realistic. So those are attached there, so that should be okay. But let's redo these because it doesn't look right to have the the bars down there. Right there. Beautiful. Okay. That'll give us some serious solar power there. That's going to be good stuff. Good stuff, man. Doesn't look as cool as the angle design did, but like I said, I don't I don't wanna I should, probably should have saved the thing before I did that. <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, I don't wanna have to redo the whole station again. That's just be too much of a pain in the ass. So anyway, okay. Well guys, we are out of time, so what we're gonna do in the next episode is we are going to spawn in the prefab tier 1a and we're going to make some modifications to it so that is the plan i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did hit that like button and subscribe to the channel come and hang out with us on discord come and hang out with me on a live stream we do live stream several times a week on twitch you can find the links to both of those places in the about section of the youtube channel you guys have a great rest of your day Bye bye